This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to realistically add reflection to sunglasses. So what we're going to do here is add this image here of a nice beach and palm trees as a reflection to this image here on the, this guy's sunglasses. So let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is uh, go into the, uh, the image that we want to be a reflection and select all of it. So that's Control A. We're going to copy it. So it's Control C and then go to our new window of uh, the, uh, the image with the sunglasses and then do control and V so we're pasting that in there okay so now we have the image that we can float about and that's fine okay now what we need to do is unview that image and zoom in to the uh, the portion of your image that has the sunglasses and what we want to do is just select the sunglasses of course you can uh, select it a number of ways I'm going to use uh, the selection with the quick selection tool here of course you can do it with the lasso tool the poly tool you could do it you know with the magic wand tool and so forth it depends what suits your image best for me the quick selection tool works quite well so I'll do that right now okay once you have your selection as you like it I would encourage you to go to refine edge to continually refine your selection so what you can do here let me just turn everything down to zero here is um, you can set the preview here of the refine edges to uh, this, uh, the quick mask mode so you can see the selection that you're making here and you can see the selection at the moment is quite uh, jaggedy so what we can do here is add some smoothness to it so that it's nice and smooth and you can also either contract or expand your selection if you contract your selection you're sort of creating here a frame into the glasses now obviously um, in the sunglasses you might already have a frame and you could keep it as a longer frame or you can eat into that frame a little bit it's up to you which way you'd like to go about it. I'm actually going to eat into it a little bit so that it fills in the glasses quite well. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And we have that nice even selection there. And now what we can do is go into our layer here with our palm tree. And just at the moment, without doing much else, we're just going to go ahead and just add a layer mask by clicking down here at the bottom. So we've added that image as a layer mask. Now, we can move our image independently of the mask, so leave the mask there, the points here, and actually move the image within that by unlocking our layer here. So we're going to click on that, and now we're going to move our layer up to the point where we like the reflection to be, for example, like so. Okay? Now, another step that we can do here, and this is a bit optional, but it's, it's up to you, you can add in, add in a pinch effect, and with the pinch effect, you can um, put have the image um, be a little bit rounded, a little bit distorted because of the, uh, depending on how the glasses are. I'm going to distort this just by a bit so it's not an even, uh, the horizon isn't an even, you know, flat surface. It's a little bit rounded, so there we are. And, of course, after you've done that, you can continue to reposition that reflection there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little effect here. We're going to add in an inner shadow so that we have a small inner shadow going in to the glasses around here at the top so I'm actually going to change the angle here to 122 so it comes off actually going to change a little bit right there 105 so it comes off more at the top and with a distance of uh, say in this image here distance of 3 and a size say of 6 and then opacity a little less sort of an opacity here just something that is you, you can do a, an undo and a redo here of the inner shadow to see what it is that you're doing and I think it works quite well there so we're gonna use 55 3 and 6 right there click OK and now we're gonna set the opacity of this to 50 percent so we have a bit of the reflection there but the reflection is a little bit on the flat side so what I'd like to do here is just duplicate this layer we're going to unview the effects here so that it's not being applied and if you don't see that, you just have to expand the effects there so you can see it. So we're unviewing it so it's not being applied. And now we're going to change the mode of this to multiply. And what that has done is actually made it a little bit more realistic because now we have the reflection of the glasses. And it's a full, nicely saturated effect, but it's also a darker uh, reflection than this. So it looks more like it is coming off reflection of dark glasses like that. So here we have our before. And here we have our after, and that's how you add reflections to sunglasses. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. 
Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.